So with iOS 26, there is a lot of good features, there's best features, and then there's some hidden features that I want to talk about today. In this video, there is about six different hidden features I want to talk about and six different best features. Let's go ahead, jump right into it. And if you follow the channel, you're probably aware of some of these already. But if not, let's go ahead and jump right into them. First things first is the new visual intelligence updates in iOS 26. In iOS 26, visual intelligence works with screenshots now, so you can ask ChatGPT questions about what's on your screen or search for items right in your screenshot via Google. So I'm going to go ahead and go right into here and say Jaguars. And let's just go ahead and say Jacksonville Jaguars gear just for something easy. Click on this on the Pro Shop. And now when you do a screenshot with the volume up button and power button, you have these two new options here to ask or search. If you actually click image search, it will pull up results from Google, like we said, about Jaguars jerseys. If you don't want that and you want to ask it a question about here, you can click ask and say whose jersey is this? and it should be able to give you a response right back with ChatGPT. It does take a couple seconds as you would anticipate, but it is not terrible at all, usually. This is actually taking a little longer than what we've seen historically, but there you go. This jersey is for Brian Thomas Jr., who is a Jaguars receiver, obviously. So that is always pretty cool, and additionally too, I'm not sure if you saw that in the screenshot, it did show you this was taken from Jaguars.com. The next one I want to show you is actually going to be in regards to the messaging app. And I want to go ahead and pull up a specific message here just to show you exactly how it looks. And with this now, it got a major update where you can see an ad background and it's cross platform. So you'll see it across your Apple Watch and in messages here. But what's pretty cool is when you actually go into your contact here that you want to show or change updates in backgrounds, you can do so right here by clicking on the profile picture and selecting different backgrounds. So you can pick from some pre-configured ones, some playful ones, or you can customize one with, well, you can see it, <laughs> image playground. There are some other suggestions you can use and all that. It's really just going to depend on what you'd like, but it's pretty cool. And now in the phone app also, the phone app has a feature that will screen your calls asking callers for their name and reason for calling before they could speak to you if you don't know their number. There is a hold assist that will wait for a live agent for you and all this can be done in settings and apps for phone. So if you jump right into all this and go to phone, you will see these new options right down here that says detect call waiting. It says iPhone will detect calls and you can put them on hold and notify you when it's time to pick up and then screen incoming calls from unknown numbers. Very useful, cool feature. Again, something the Pixels have had for a while, but it is nice to have here as well. You also do have a new visited places in Maps where it shows you if you can't remember where you've been for dinner, food, restaurants, things like that. You will be able to search for that there. And then also one really cool one is in Apple Music where there is a new auto mixing feature that if you actually scroll to the bottom here, and I'm not going to be able to do it simply for copyright reasons, but if you have a song playing at the end, you'll see it says Dolby Atmos right now. But as it gets closer to the end of the track, if you're in a playlist, that will actually change over and show you mixing and really bridge the gaps just like that between the two songs. It's very neat. It almost stretches... It, it, it transitions from one song to another with time stretching and beat mixing, really. It's kind of like your own little DJ in your pocket. It is very cool. And then one of the other best features is going to be the new Games app. They kind of brought everything back under one roof, as you can see here. You have all of your games, Apple Arcade, the option to play together if you have friends on here, and your library of games can be found right here as well. So very neat. Now, some of the other very cool features as well here that are more hidden than the rest. I wish Apple would have talked about this for some reason. They left it out for a little while, but that's going to be battery intelligence. I think this is going to be one of the coolest updates to come to iPhone in a while. It's such a little quality of life improvement, but I really do like it. So 
when you go ahead and plug in your device here, that's what you typically saw in prior betas. Now, let me go ahead and just close Apple Music for now. Once you unlock it, it has to be unlocked. It doesn't show when it's locked, but once you unlock it, up here, it typically will show you the time left to charge. Unfortunately, as you can see here, it is a, it's beta doing beta things. It's not wanting to show us any time remaining for a charge, unfortunately. But what will happen is right next to this, once it's unlocked, it will show time remaining to a full charge. It's definitely very useful and can also be found in settings under battery as well. So if you jump into settings, battery, and you can see it says 23 minutes left for 100% charge. It will show you 80% as well if you are at that threshold also. While we're also in battery, whoops, there is a new power mode called adaptive power. And what this does is when your battery usage is higher than normal, iPhone can make small performance adjustments to extend your battery life, including slightly lowering the display brightness or allowing some activities to take a little longer. Low power mode may turn on at 20%. That's very helpful as well. Additionally, another new feature that's hidden in iOS 26 is an alarm snooze. Finally, we have the ability to snooze alarms for custom times. No more nine minute interval snoozes. That is awesome and been a long time coming. The next one is actually something you might have just noticed from that song we were just playing, and that's the new album artwork on the lock screen. So if you lock your device, oops, it'll help if I had it playing. You now have this new lock screen art. It kind of has moving features depending on what's going on, and it just looks really, really good. You can toggle between the two by clicking on the album artwork or on the full splash screen, but it looks so, so good. It is amazing. The next one I do want to show you, let me go ahead and get out of this, is going to be in photos, and that is going to be the new spatial photos here. So if you have a picture pulled up, you have this new icon right here that says spatial scene. It'll analyze it, and you can see exactly how it gives it that depth effect and makes it really feel like it's popping out of the screen at you. I really do like this. I think it's very neat. It's something you could have done on the Vision Pro for a while. Now it is finally on your iPhone. And then I should have done this while we were in music also, but one last thing I really, really like, if you're like me and listen to a lot of music, let's go ahead and go to Despacito. There is a new built-in Apple Music Translation feature on this build. And you can see it just popped up. It says, translate these lyrics. If you go ahead and click that, you can now see the actual lyrics and what it means right under it. So now you can know exactly what you're singing or what's being sung in a different language if that is something you're interested in. It makes more sense. It's pretty cool to understand what's actually being said. And you can appreciate the song a little more. I think it is very, very cool and a subtle, nice little uh, hint of what's possibly to come with AirPods translation and all of those other features coming as well. So that's going to be it for this one, guys. What do you think? Leave a comment down below. Are you excited about iOS 26 and their features? A lot has been made to do with the obviously liquid glass changes. I think as Apple tweaks these over the next couple of betas, we'll be good to go. But in its infancy right now, it was a little rocky. And some of these features way outweigh the new design. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.